What's up guys? I'm the washer and dryer guy. I've been repairing and refurbing washers and dryers since 2011. If this video helps you, please like and subscribe. If you have any questions, put them in the comments below and I will answer you. Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about the actuator problems these machines have, which the actuator is the thing that shifts it from agitate to spin. If you have a machine that has the pause play button and the six little lights underneath, no matter what the brand is, this one in particular is Maytag, but several brands use this exact same motor, transmission, um, brain, whatever you want to call it, the little back panel. Everything is the same, just a different brand name, but they all use these same actuators. I'm going to talk about the problem that people don't realize why the actuators are actually going out. So, if your machine, sometimes, depending on how it's programmed, they won't fill with water. Most of the machines I see will fill with water and then not drain because it has to shift back and forth between agitate and spin and the little shifter, the actuator, will not have enough strength to flip the switch, just shift it to spin, so it will just fill with water and then sit for a while and then you'll wonder why it never drains. So it's going to be the actuator. So you can swap these out real easy, they're underneath the machine, but it's either going to be a black one or it's going to be this red one. And just look what color it is and I'll put them in the description below. I'll try to get an Amazon link in this. All right, so here's the transmission off to make this easy. So if we flip this washer on its side, we're gonna be looking at this. Normally there's a motor sitting in this transmission. You'll take off two 5 16 screws there and then you'll remove the shroud. Obviously, do not have the machine plugged in because we're about to pull off. There's gonna be a belt right here that we're going to take off and you don't want to come on accidentally. So you'll take the belt off, pretty much you can just roll it off. After you get the belt off, we're down to this. There'll be a nut right here, you'll take that nut off. And here's this actuator, they're either going to sit here, let's see, no, like this, it's going to either be this black one or this red one. So it's going to be sitting just like that. And here's what it's doing. There is a little lever right here and this on the actuator is a handle that goes back and forth and that's all it does. It runs on this motor. So all this actuator does is mainly shift this back and forth and on this side I don't know what exactly why they had to do all this but it's pretty much to know when the machine should unlock. It's counting this little guy right here. It can sense, I'm guessing light or maybe a laser or something is going through it maybe magnetic, but it's counting and it knows when the machine comes to a stop and when it comes to a full stop it unlocks so you don't stick your arm in it while it's spinning. So that's pretty much what this side of the actuator does, but mainly what we're worried about is this side of the actuator with the motor and the arm. It will burn up the motor, and then my cat's gonna come over here. It's gonna burn up the motor and you're gonna wonder why it's burned up. So after we take this off, here's the problem. And this is the part that no one ever actually comes into is they won't take this off and this next part is a little bit difficult to get off especially when it's hooked on the washing machine you have it on its side so you'll press there's four tabs there's one on top and you may have to get a flathead screwdriver to do this i might have to get it too i might be able to do it because it's on its side you push the one on the side you keep going all the way around do all four the bottom one's going to mess with me Oop, that one reattached. There it is. All right, now that's all four off. Now let's look what's going on here. So just so we all understand what's happening, when it shifts, it's moving that up a little bit. So these gears are coming up just slightly. See when I move it, it comes up. Those gears mash into these gears. If I can get that on there. All right. And what's happening is, when it's on here, it's either spinning the center, which is just agitate, or it's spinning the whole thing, which is spinning the whole drum and making the clothes go back to dry. It's also draining. Well, the drain, well, the water pump will come on. But this is the culprit. This guy will get sand all in it because it's sitting on the very bottom. So if you clean out these three parts, and they're hard, not, it's not uh, hard to get screwed up. Don't take them apart and I'll, I'll never figure out how to get back together. This goes, the little arm goes just like this. 
and it's going to slide back and forth so that's easy to figure out where that's going to go again and you can see what's happening see these little ramps that's going up it's just sliding and ramping up those will get sand in them and I like to use white lithium grease after I clean it out. I'll just spray it all the way around, make it real nice and make it move real easy. Drop this guy back in, make sure this rim doesn't have sand in it. And then we'll just snap everything right back together. And then you put your actuary back on, you put everything after you hook this. Let's see, I think it goes this way. I could be wrong, I think it's on that one. And then we'll put that one back on. And now let's look at it while it's right here. So now we have a second example how this works. All right, if I flip it that way, you can see this gear is no longer spinning that one. And now if you look up top, you'll see what's happening is it's just spinning up top. So that's agitation. And if I flip that, like I'm the actuator, now the entire thing is spinning. That's all this is doing. It's a super easy to understand transmission compared to the old type. It's not as dependable but it's a little easier to understand what's going on. All right, one other thing. I think if the spring is going out on these things and it's just half shifting, let's see if I can make it make the noise. You'll hear the horrible grinding noise. If it's just a little bit, there it is. That could mean two things. Either the actuator is starting to go out and it's not able to shift because it's maybe got grime in it, or that spring has lost its ability to push down hard enough and it's just not quite getting there, but more than likely it's going to be the actuator. That's most of the time what's going on is that actuator is either burned up or it just can't push against the sand. And sometimes you'll feel bad, you'll clean out all that sand, you'll oil it, and the actuator motor is still too weak to be able to do it. It's just burned up from probably the sand being in it to start with. All right guys, but that's it. I wanted to make that video because there's a lot of confusion with taking that off and now they have a transmission off, it's much easier. All right, if you guys have any other problems or if uh, with this type of machine or any type of machine, put them in the comments down below. I'll try to answer any questions. Please like and subscribe. It really helps the channel.